table fans, there's not much call for Warhammer Fantasy, although Age of Sigmar is getting some traction. But I did want to show you these dwarfs because this is this is why I got into this business was the pageantry and grandeur and the accomplishment of actually finishing a whole army. Now, obviously, this is a pretty small army, but still clocks in at 50 figures. And I also, this dwarfs, in fact, these particular models were the very first commission painting that I did uh, back in 2003. Yep, that's how long this has been going on. And I just, I just found it very exciting to see this very handsome set roll off the line. This is what we do here. If you'd like us to do some of your figures, you contact me at projects at bluetablepainting.com. More than happy to send you some information. And so this is good stuff, guys. So here's the old dwarf models. Now here's the new ones, and they just... Oh, they're, they're exquisitely sculpted. They're so nice. So let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison here. So that's, that's the difference. And I gotta say, the artist's choice of this royal blue highlighted up, uh, in contrast with the orange beards, provides, you know, a really, a really great uh, complement to... Uh, for the two colors to work with each other. And the axe handles are one of my favorite colors for wood, which is a, a cavalry brown. Uh, that's Vallejo. And quite frankly, you just have this really nice mix of uh, cold and warm on these guys. And the whole army just looks really great. I love it. Makes me wanna, makes me wanna play a game. Unfortunately, all of my time is sucked into the actual administration of blue table painting, which is fine because it's put the company on a stronger, stronger footing. So I wanna thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.